guys, <laughs> welcome to the awakening. Making sure it's recording. <clears throat> um, so today is 71, I think. And I really didn't want to do anything today. I'm in the allotment, as you can see. I've planted some seeds, which has been beautiful. The sun's shining. And it's just like perfect contentment and peace just doing this. Not needing to talk to and not wanting to talk to anyone, really. I had a really difficult day yesterday. A lot was coming up, a lot of anger, a lot of fear. And so when this happens, I think, well... I've got to turn back to the techniques that help me. The ones that have always got me out of this somehow. And that's where I go back to certain techniques I'm going to talk about today. I did a beautiful meditation by Laurie Ladd. Connecting to my higher self. My light being. That was beautiful. really helped me really helped me. And I'd recommend you do follow Laurie Ladd. I, I really love to interview her. I think she's incredible. Pure love. And she was talking about the chaos out there. And she's doing, she's got camper van. She's going around America. And she's said she was going to hand it over to her higher self. And I thought to myself, well, I'm not doing very well. Last couple of days I've been feeling grief and anger and all sorts and just not feeling too good. Not coping, very lonely. And just not coping and thinking, what the hell am I going to do? Yada, you know, the future was coming in, fear. What if Gisara and Nasara don't happen? The worst case scenarios, my head was going everywhere. I'm just very, very tired and of course Adobe stopped working. I couldn't get the awakening on and all sorts of stuff. And also not getting paid, so the mind starts to play the same tricks of I can't be bothered, let's not do anything. So I thought I'm going to go back to the basics. And the basics for me are the 12 steps. Halt, don't get too hungry, too angry. Now this thing about don't get too lonely, there's not much I can do about it. Because we're living the way we are, and so I can't really use that as much as I'd like to. Don't get too lonely. But definitely don't get too tired. So I went back to the, to the 12 steps. I decided to do what Laurie Ladd was doing, and that was to go back to the beginning and say, look, Step one, I am totally powerless over my emotions, my anger, my fear, other people, places and things. Because with me it's codependency and emotions mainly. Used to be food, but not so much now. Totally powerless over my emotions, people, places and things, the weather. <laughs> Everything that's making me unhappy if the sun doesn't shine. If I can't see people, if I'm lonely, yada, 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 not earning. Totally powerless over everything, the whole world, and mainly my emotions. Because my emotions start to change so quickly. If I'm in a situation that brings up helplessness, then I'll go in very quickly into fear, like a lot of us, and then rage. So I thought, okay, I'm going back to that today. I got up and I lay in bed when I woke up. I did a light being meditation, connected, and then I had to face life. And I thought, step one, I'm totally powerless over this. I'm totally powerless, like the sun might shine or it may not. I can feel the fear when I say I'm totally powerless. Totally powerless. We all are. We don't know what's coming from one day to another. So totally powerless, that's the first step. You can't be in denial. We are totally powerless, completely. We don't know what's going to come. We hope, we know, but 
So, totally powerless. Got up this morning, thought I'm going to make myself a smoothie, get my food together and go to the allotment with Martin. Yeah, I get to the allotment and I'm lying on, you know, the sun's not coming out and I'm cold and I'm thinking, I'm getting depressed because I'm cold. See the mind? I'm totally powerless. I thought, okay, what's step two, Lauren? came to believe that a power greater than myself can restore me to sanity. Okay, I'm happy to say that. I'm totally powerless. Came to believe a power greater than myself. I know there's a power greater than myself. It can't be the sunshine because it comes and goes. It can't be f food, drink, or well, don't drink anyway. Can't be people, can't be work because if Adobe packs up, then what am I going to do? If the internet packs up, what am I going to do? It can't be my, this body, because this body does sometimes what it wants, it hurts, it doesn't want to function, whatever. It definitely cannot be pay, people, places or things or my emotions. So I thought, well, what could it be then? Not sure yet. I thought, okay, well, I'll say it, okay? I'm totally powerless of everything. Came to believe, I, I'm coming to believe that a power greater than myself can restore me to sanity. I know there's something because things have restored me to sanity. Remember, I never take medication. There must be something. And then the third step. Made a conscious decision to hand my life over to that higher power, whatever it is and wherever it is. And guess what? The sun's coming out. Interesting, eh? The sun is coming out. So I thought, okay, well, the sun's out today. I'll use the sun today. Just as a temporary thing, because I know how well I feel lying in the sun, planting the plants, watering them, doing very little. I thought, okay, I'll lie here on my beanbag, I'll meditate and I'll pray and then I'll go and plant a few seeds and water them. And then the fear comes in. Oh my God, oh my God, we're renting. What if the landlord decides to kick us out? Yada, yada, we've got no money. I've got no work. This is what the head does. And I go right back again to can't cope, can't cope, can't cope. Of course, I was chatting to, to my husband about it and he couldn't fix it. So I got angry with him. Helplessness makes me angry. Then my back started to play up and my leg and my neck and I started to constrict and the body started to play up. So I said, okay, that's it, go away. I want to be on my own. Back onto the beanbag, close my eyes. I'm totally powerless again. Totally powerless. There's nothing I can do about this. There's nothing I can do about the future because I don't know what the future is. There's nothing I can do about the past. There's nothing I can do about earning money in this moment, except maybe get on Facebook and send all over the place. You know, this is the higher power thing, isn't it? What can I do? And so I got on there after I sat with it, totally powerless over this, came to believe a power greater than myself can help restore me to sanity. What is this power greater than myself today? I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hand it over take it. I asked for solitude. I asked to be on my own. So Martin went somewhere else to do something else, got on with it, and I sat here on my own, on the beanbag, feeling completely powerless, praying. Just help me. I don't know what to do. Totally powerless. Came to believe a power greater than myself. The sun came out a little bit, but it's still chilly. Power greater than myself said, eat something. So I did. Power Graces and myself said, get on Facebook and say you're a tarot reader and promote that all over the world because it's online. <laughs> See what happens. And so I did. Power Graces and myself said, put £75 for a session because those who have the money will think you're really good, which I am. And then put a scale of prices for those that don't have much. And so I did. And that's what I did. Did my best. Did my little Instagram. Planted a few plants, watered them. I handed the day over to my higher power. And that's what I'm going to do all day today. As soon as I feel helpless or sick or cold or confused. 
instead of taking it out on others, instead of taking it out on myself, I'm going to say to the clouds, I'm going to say to the green, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what my higher power is today. My higher power today is those buttercups. See? See the buttercups? Those lovely buttercups. That's my higher power today. My higher power today is the sky. Father Sky. That lovely tree. My higher power today is this blanket. If I get cold, I can cover myself in this blanket. No one could take it away from me. So it can be a higher power today. My higher power today is the little garden that I'm creating with Martin. Because no one can take that away from us. It's ours for the whole year. No one can take that away. My higher power today is food, eating, is drinking some soup, and so I've drunk some soup and had an avocado. <laughs> My higher power today is all of this. No one can take it away. Shoes that I'm wearing on my feet to keep my feet warm and to be able to do the gardening that Martin got for me. That's my higher power today. Because I can rely on these things to get through today. That's it. Okay, bringing it back to me again. That's it, guys. I... I cannot rely on this body. It's not my higher power. It's just a shell. Could die soon or not. But it, you can't rely on it. This body goes into spasms and shock when it's cold. It's already doing it. I can feel the neck. <laughs> I'm going to set myself a challenge to stay in the cold and see how I get through this. I've done it with toothache. I sat with it. I don't think I've got much choice now but to try to get past this stuff. So that's the lesson for that's the awakening for today and I, I really hope it's going to help you guys because when you get to the end of your tether and you can't do the halt, you can do don't get too hungry, we have food. Don't get too angry, you can scream it out. Put a, you know, put a cushion or on your mouth and scream. And that's what I did yesterday. I was kicking and screaming a lot. It's like I was possessed. But the anger and rage has to come up and out. Don't get too lonely. That doesn't work all the time for us now, does it? Because we may be too lonely. We may need to get used to being on our own and lonely. It may not be a choice too much now. So don't get too lonely. I suppose the only way you can deal with that is you can go on social media. You can play with your pets. You may not be able to have physical contact and that's an issue I'm dealing with as much as I'd like to. That's why I'm always inviting you over here. Please come to the allotment. We'll hug. We can sit and uh, have a chat and laugh. See what we're doing here. Come and relax with us. It's beautiful. Nothing here. Or even, you know, if I, uh, I'm going to bring a flask of tea, maybe, or coffee. <laughs> if you come, I'll get a flask. You're always invited. I love you. As I say, if you're on this vibration, though, I'm not interested in people that are going to drag my vibration down to worry and complaining and whinging. I'm about solutions and you know that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the awakening for today. Please subscribe, share and like. Come on board Moving On TV. Uh, you get 10% off Biomineral Balance Hair Analysis if you subscribe. 
please tell Rebecca that you've subscribed to Moving On TV. I will check and then you'll get your 10%. This is like a sponsorship deal, which I'm quite excited about. Also, if you subscribe now, you're going to be entered into a draw to get a free tarot reading, a personal tarot reading. So I'm going to put that on Facebook. If you subscribe now, you're entered into a draw, put all your names in there. And you will be entitled to go to win a tarot reading, free tarot reading. Or depending on yourself, you can have a tarot reading or a coach, coach, life coaching reading. Up to you. Or a mediumship, whatever you want. <laughs> or Louise Hay. All the things I'm capable of doing. And also you'll be, also possibly win a hypnotherapy session. So there's quite a lot of you for you to get from subscribing to Moving On TV. Doesn't cost anything and you get all our programs. Take care, lots of love and I will put this in the credits down below. Bye!